start recording it. Okay, so the next transformation I want to discuss about filter. Okay, so this is also one of the commonly used uh, transformation. Whenever you want to apply uh, uh, some filter condition and uh, get only the uh, elements which is passed through this filter condition. Right, so that case we can actually use the filter transformation. So I take a simple uh, number list, one, two, three, four, five. Say example, I want to get only the even numbers. Okay, so you can just, uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, so when we, applied this uh, uh, map transformation, right? So basically map transformation uh, will return, uh, uh, say example, you pass uh, uh, 10 elements. Your results also will be a 10 elements. Maybe it, it will be in the different form, but it will be a 10 elements. Okay, so because it's iterating these elements and you perform operations. In case of uh, filter transformation, you might pass a 10 elements and you may get zero or even 10 elements because you are applying a, a condition. If that matches, it's going to return that many number of elements. So since we are applying uh, this function to identify whether the number is uh, even, so we just do mod of two, if the remainder is zero, that elements considered to be a even number. Okay, so, okay, so let's create a Python list, number list. Okay, I'll run these two lines in a short single. So we know what it is. So my number already is there. Now, so you apply a filter transformation and apply this function. So again, if you, uh, so basically this is a Python uh, syntax, a lambda function. So lambda of n will take each element and try to find out the mod equal to zero and it will return. So you see this number even already. It has two elements. Similarly, you can create a, a Python um, string, like a Python list with the string uh, elements, and you can apply filter like uh, uh, whether I just trying to find out or in each of element. So Arun as there is a or character here it is there, but uh, Anna is not having. So ideally it will return the, all these three elements. Okay, just run this code. Now please stop me if you have any questions. So collect is the one of the, our, uh, okay. Action. Uh, okay, so I already applied a collect. So this is it's not a. I already here uh, applied collect, so which you would have retrieved a, uh, the Python list. So you finally we got only the uh, elements which having a character R. Okay. And uh, okay, so let me do this also. What I will do. We'll just store it into uh, dd underscore rdd. Okay, so this is rdd. Okay, you can apply other actions uh, like it. Uh, first, there is a action called first. It will give the first elements from your rdd. Just a minute, let me just save this.
so and uh, you have uh, uh, other uh, one more uh, some action function called uh, take it can pass number of elements you want to so basically i just give two so basically this uh, rdd how many elements it has as i think three elements you have three elements out of this if you pass two it is going to give the first two elements uh okay so now uh, similarly you know how to create a rdd from file so example we can actually uh create a rdd from reading a text file and uh, this tech rdd let's see the elements in that rdd it is file does not exist okay the path is incorrect daddy mamma to go to how do you go to my path my path was incorrect i'll just run it again why there is a file queue sorry input file path there is a equal to file ah so basically for oh, this one you are saying yeah, yeah. ah so basically uh, when you want to read your local file because because this is in okay. my local linux path okay, okay so i kept my tech.txt in my linux path if you want to read it from linux path you have to give file uh, Uh, triple colon and the path okay so uh, double colon path if you are reading from hdfs then you just give just slash and give the path the so first uh, just to reading from linux path you have to use this have used it as uh, this one. yeah okay so we have this so again if you apply filter transformation uh, or just check a particular uh, string if you want to check say example in this example i'm just checking uh, applying a filter transformation and passing the function lambda function and uh, just applying if element as p a r k uh, that string so okay so we have uh, Spark, Hadoop, PySpark, Spark ML, Spark SQL. Out of this, all the elements as uh, Spark uh, string, uh, sub string, except the Hadoop. So it is going to give the remaining uh, four elements except the Hadoop. yeah this gives the four elements and uh, things to notice is yeah i already explained but trying to reiterate all this transformation takes a function so you can actually define this is a norm uh, normal function in outside also uh, like what i'm saying is uh, i can define like uh, uh, check str then just and just return of Input. 
Is going to return to you, okay? So I don't want to do this. So I declared this uh, check parent uh, check string function. Uh, whenever we have uh, this particular substring, we will return that element. Else not. So let's we'll rewrite the same line of code. I can just call that function. So it is going to return the same result we got it here. So this is one way of writing your uh, uh, lambda function, which is also called anonymous function. Uh, this is you de you declare a function separately and you can use it. So both the way you can try it. Okay, so this is about a filter transformation. There is one more uh, commonly used transformation called flat map. Okay, so uh, like map transformation, flat map also will be help, helpful to iterate the element in RDD. But only thing is, it will flatten your uh, uh, it'll flatten your uh, uh, elements in RDD. Okay, so example, I will show you this example. So you have a list, okay, which consists of uh, three string uh, elements. Each string basically uh, uh, comma separated uh, numbers. So here, this this list. Uh, if you would just uh, create this list. Which is three elements. So just this right, We have three elements. Okay, so if we want to make everything like uh, just take all the uh, split all the numbers and make it as a list which consists of numbers one to fifteen, then how do you do? That's what we are going to do. So I'm just going to create uh, a num list equal to this is my expected output so uh, this is my input I want to create uh, output something like this. Okay, so numbers list with the one two fifty. So let's see how we can achieve using a flat map. So what we are doing, we have a list which consists of three elements, three string elements. So we can actually what you can okay. So anyway, we just have to convert this into RDD using a parallelized function, uh, which is part of your Spark context which is another uh, another property in a sparsation object. Uh, okay, so now 
when we apply this, uh, we'll, we take this already and apply a flat map. And flat map also takes a function. Uh, so here lambda function we're applying, lambda of n and n uh, dot split. We're just using a string, uh, uh, just a string function split and giving the delimiter as uh, comma. So it is going to split all the elements, this three element, uh, one, two, three, three element is there. Just to split by uh, comma, uh, it will just give one, two, three, four, five and one, two, three, four, six, seven to 10 like that. And uh, since we are applying flat map, it is going to flatten all the elements and give it as a output like this, one, two, 15. Okay, so I just created the list. Let's go and do this. See how I got this. Okay, so all the, but this all became a, a string, you can actually make it as, uh, if you just make it as integer and it will become, uh, so what I'm saying is, here's, Mm. Okay, so I cannot apply here. Uh, then I can apply this RDD, right? I can apply this. Equal to map of um, lambda lambda. This I can do. Okay. So, see, uh, I hope you got what is flat map is doing. Okay, so I'll just show you if I apply map, what is the output? Okay, so you have a, so basically it is uh, splitting this uh, uh, element by comma, and the all the so basically it will split to three elements. It does right. Once you split, you would have got three list. This would have re re when you split. Um, using a comma separator, you know this will return a list. And this element also will return a list. And this element also will return a list. The flat map finally, it is flattening all the list and it is making as a single list with the all elements in a one list. That's what flat map does. But if you apply your map, then the result will be different. So I'll just show you how the result will be. You apply just a map transformation. See here, you have a list which consists of a multiple uh, three list of all your splitted uh, uh, values. So uh, I hope you are understanding what is the difference between map and flat map. Let me know if you have any queries. Okay, so uh, there is uh, one more uh, okay file called uh, technical overview. Uh, so okay, I have a text file which consists of set of uh, lines here. If I want to make list with all the wo uh, words in my list, okay, so all all the words as a individual element in my list. I can read this text file, which will give me the RDD and apply a flat map transformation and uh, split the elements by space separator. So it's give the individual words, line into words, 
at all uh, when you apply uh, because we are applying a flat pump transformation so all the words will be in a single list let's do that okay so we'll just read this file and see the output okay so you see there is how many lines it has six lines it has so you'll see six elements here one this is one two three four five and six elements now let's apply a flat map transformation split by space So it has given me the single list, which consists of all the words. So basically it is flattening the individual list, which is come out of after split, applying the split functions. Okay, so that's what about flat map. Then next we will see what is map partitions. We saw flat map, now map, map partitions. Okay, so map partitions, uh, what is going to do? So, okay, now, here when we applied uh, 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 map or flat map, okay, so it actually, uh, processed uh, your elements uh, in, a, in a whole. Okay, so basically um, uh, you, uh, how many partitions I created this one? Um, okay, so if you try to see this number of partition for this already, get num partitions. So it has two partitions. So if we uh, basically, if I want to process uh, data uh, like in um, data which is there in uh, uh, partition separately. Okay, so this operation we performed uh, basically. Uh, okay, yeah, or maybe I'll show you one more example. Okay. So we have num already, okay. So I'll just convert this into into star dot star context. Okay, so I'll make this send to three partitions. So num rdd So this has three partitions. Okay, so if we want to sum up this, right? Uh, so it is going to give me the value as uh, 15. Okay, so if I just uh, sum up all the elements in this RDD, so it is going to give me the, 
value as 15. Instead, I want to find out the sum on individual RDDs. Okay, so uh, individual RDDs. I think it's better to show how the individual RDD elements is there. Uh, I think there is a function called to then it will have better Okay, so num rd num underscore rd see here so basically we know this rd num underscore rd has three uh, like uh, the elements in the rd is converted into three partition so each partitions what element it has, if you want to know, we can use this function called uh, globe, glom. And if you do collect, so see number partition, the first partition has only one element, one. And second partition has two elements, two and three, and third partition has uh, four and five. Okay, so if you want to find a sum, not for the whole uh, uh, RDD, instead I want to do partition level if i want to find a sum then we can use a num partition so basically if you want to perform any operation at a partition level not at the old old data set instead if you want to perform a, a operation on a partitions level you can use a, a transformation called map part, uh, sorry yeah map partitions so that is the example so here so I need to, uh, so basically I'll come here before I explain this function. So, <clears throat> so we have a numbers uh, like, uh, like this and we convert into three partitions, okay? Uh, okay, so one, two, three, sorry, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, like that I just created a, uh, numbers. And just for simplicity sake, I just created, you can queue anything. And uh, then uh, I converted uh, this list into RDD with the three partitions. And I am playing a RDD dot map partitions and I'm passing a process partition, one function. What that function does is basically takes the input as a partitions and it gives me the, uh, uh, just using a mathematical uh, function sum and uh, we, Anyway, the part, uh, so here we have a list, right? So basically, so we have a list over here. So the list, if you apply a, a sum function, it will going to give you the sum of that value. Okay, that's what I will be doing. So I just, this also I'll create, I'll explain you what uh, the other function is for. I will do this. So we have this. So if you want to just see that. So I just run this as well. So it has given me four, four, four. Individually it operated uh, three partition and give me the sum. 
so if you look at here this num mod d dot i think loom right dot collect so you see here we have this three partition each partition has like element one two three oh, sorry one two one which if you sum up it's become four so it i it operated on a individual uh, partition and it gave me the sum okay so if you want uh, there is another function which i created just to find out the length of each partition like number of elements in this in this case i know it is basically three elements in the each uh, partition suppose if you have a bigger uh, um, uh, rdd and it is converted into n number of partitions we want to find out number of elements in the each uh, partition they can then you can use this function so what i am taking is taking the each partition and iterating over that uh, and uh, finding the length take it from okay so yeah so basically uh, uh, i am trying to find out the length of each element sorry not the size of the partition basically uh, size of each element in the uh, each element in the partition okay so let's apply this functions so for that i'm just reading this uh, text file take over view so i think we can run this yeah. So basically, uh, the length of this element. Okay, so I think this is created with the. Uh, so we did not. Uh, so okay, basically, it is created with the two partition. I guess. Yeah, it is created with the two partition, and uh, each partitions uh, the numbers, uh, the element length. So this is forty-two uh, characters, and this is forty-four characters total, and this is twenty-seven in the first partition. In the second partition, thirty-one, thirty, twenty. So this is how, if you want to perform a operation on individual partition, we can use a map partitions. So similarly, we have a n number of uh, transformation. Uh, uh transformation functions i told you the list i given it has this is a this is a just a commonly used uh, transformation 
you have you have more number of transformations okay so you just need to understand how each uh, so i level you just have to say when you apply transformation you get to going to get a rdt based on the functions you apply action you want to see the uh, start actual execution and give the result of rdt action is nothing but so we will actually uh, see tomorrow some more uh, uh, transformation not tomorrow okay so then we will think about monday we'll go through some more uh, transformation actions uh, you can also go and explore uh, some of the transformation actions um, then we will see the once we uh, maybe we'll uh, start uh, uh, monday we will start uh, spark architecture before we see uh, other set of transformations and uh, actions i think this this would have given you the uh, what is rdd and what how we can apply the rdd transformation and actions how it works so internal uh, architecture and internal details we will discuss on monday i will share you this uh, notepad and with that uh, two files which i used in this program um, let me know if you have any question sorry do you have any questions no questions all right okay so okay uh, that's it for today's session i what i'll do is i'll just uh, uh, share this uh, recorded video as well as uh, i will also share this course snippet with the uh, input uh, files all right thank you buddy yeah thank you so much see you on monday thank you bye